Hi, I'm back with three more books that I've made, trying to use up some of my supplies. I'll see how quickly I can go through these, showing them to you. I won't go into a lot of detail because um, they're basically like the ones I showed you. Um, made with old book covers that I took apart and bound with my bind it all. This one has um, paper on it that says Journey. I believe that's from my mind's eye. This is one of the thin one-sided papers and I decorated it with some stick-on gem pieces. And then inside, this is something that I, it's a tag that I printed from the internet. And here is one of my last pieces of the Daily Junk from Pink Paisley. And I took a scrap of that Daily Junk line and um, zigzag, zigzag stitched it on as a pocket. Put a couple tags in there. And I put a photo mat on that page. Here's another piece of the Daily Junk. I put a little metal tab on it and a tag on the back for journaling. This is looks kind of like a floor plan or blueprint or something that I found on the internet and I printed it. And you can journal on it. It says to do and it has quotation marks there. I just thought it looked like fun. A date. And I stamped on the back of it. Not focusing there. There we go. This is an old um, Stampin' Up! paper. It says Mona Me on it. There's a card, journaling card. And I don't even know what paper this is, but it's got some 1800s ladies on it. And I put this journaling spot on it that says hello. Made a pocket out of that. The glittery papers are pretty, but I don't like to put them in as pages of a smash book because the people who get these books won't have the kinds of adhesives that we crafters use probably and things won't stick to the glittery pages so I make the glittery pages into pockets or put pockets on the glittery pages so they can put things in the pockets and not have to try to glue things <clears throat> here's a book out or a page out of a children's encyclopedia with pictures and I just glued some journaling tags on there and this is the back side of a paper that was white and I just decorated it with journaling spots and washi tape put this little brown bag on it that I craft bag that I got at I think Hobby Lobby they came in different designs within the package and I stamped on this tag and inserted it. This is a card that I made with the Cricut so they can write on the inside or put pictures on it. Here's another page that has glitter on it but they can do things in that part. Stamped on that page. This is I don't know what company it's from but it was a shaped crest. It was a college themed um, paper line and I just trimmed it to fit and then stitched around these curves and made it into a pocket. This is a tag that I made <clears throat> and a purchased card. I love this paper. Um, I can't remember. Melody, Melody Ross I think was the paper line. <clears throat> but it's pretty old. I like it. And I just put those 6x6 six six pages on it, on the back of it, where it was white. This matches the cover, but this is the cardstock page and it has glitter on it. For this one, <clears throat> I used a scrap and uh, adhered it on as a pocket. This is a purchased card and this is one that I made. Cut the circle with my Cricut, put on some line notebook paper. A ribbon tab and stamped on it. And on the back, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm feeling hoarse today. On the back of the white page I put on this paper, it says today I will get two things done. One and two. Nice. Two less things to worry about later. <clears throat> and then I decorated it with washi tape. Just put on some journaling tags from tab little pads that you can buy at various stores. Uh, yeah, an arrow cut from my Cricut with some journaling cards. This one's a sticker. It says, B 
be the change you want to see in the world. I think that's Bow Bunny. This is basic gray paper, I think. This is a scrap from, I think it was a DCWV pad. It says, you are just my type, and I punched the corners. This is a paper I've had for a while. It's um, very, very deeply textured. Kind of reminds me of the Anaglypta wallpaper. And I never knew what to do with it. So I just put it in here, cut it to size, put it in here, put a pocket in there because, again, people wouldn't know what to do with it. And I included some journaling tags in the pocket. And then with eyelets, I attached this tag that says my day. 10%, 33%, etc. And then there's a line to fill in for what they did with their day. And on the back of it, I adhered some journaling spots. I put this journaling tag on as a pocket and included some tags. This is a tag I made with my rubber stamps. This one has some journaling stickers. Another pocket, I stitched it on with a zigzag stitch and included this card. And then this one is another glittery page that became a pocket and adhered or it attached all these different journaling things. All these tan and black things were part of the Recollections um, documented pad that I got. And then I put on this library pocket and I stamped the library card and decorated it with washi tape. So that's one of the books. Here's uh, one of the taller, skinny ones. This is a girl cr cut from my Cricut with a Suburbia cartridge, and I just stuck on some various tidbits that I had. This little um, transparency quote bubble says blah 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 so I stuck it on there by the phone that she's holding in her hand. There's a bright yellow library pocket and I cut a picture from a little Beatrix Potter book that I had and put it on there. Put some journaling cards in there. And then it's just full of scraps. Scraps of paper. This is a Seven Gypsies I think ticket. This one has a little flower put on there with a little bead in the center. And I included some papers to write on. There's another bright pocket. Some tags. This one's stamped on the back. And a couple of more Beatrix Potter pages. This is, I think it was in the party section at Walmart on clearance, and it says, hello, I'm blank, and my secret talent is blank. Something fun. This is a little pocket that was made with the Cricut. This little card that comes in and out of it. There's a, I stamped on this page with some journaling lines and it says just walking on sunshine. This brown paper is from Stampin' Up. that book and then the last one is this book um, I didn't cover the cover because the book cover was this blue color so I just used strips of paper to cover the raw edges of the binding put this journaling card on there it says real life and then decorated it with some little scraps that I had this page was stamped this is a, I used this little graphic 45 card as a pocket and put this little tiny ticket in there Use this strip as a pocket also. This says list, bucket list. There's another one that I put a flower on. These things were cut from the Cricut, stamped. This page, these two pages are made, are decorated with just scraps of paper 
little bits that I had. I just filled in the paper with it. So there's lots of space for writing on those pages. This tag says a little, a little birdie told me and then there's some leftover strips of paper that I used to fill in. This <clears throat> was cut from the Cricut also. This is birdcage, uh, Stampin' Up! birdcage paper over here so I put on this pa little cutout from the Cricut that has a little bird and these tags were also cut from the Cricut. And this little pink paper bag and I had um, sprayed this with the homemade glimmer mist and I decorated it with some sticker journaling spots. Made a pocket out of this, stitched it on, two tags inside. Here's a folder. It's got kind of a grid pattern. I don't know if you can see it, but you can write on that. This is a, from a, um, what do you call them? Sticky note thing. So it, come on, it came on a little tablet. You peel off a layer and stick it on. I glued it on, obviously. This one says, yesterday I was supposed to blank and blank, but hey, carpe diem. <laughs> and for this page, I stitched this little tag on, and then I had printed the, this line of tickets from off the internet, and I just trimmed it because it was too long for this book, and I clipped it on here with this little arrow paper clip that came from Stampin' Up. This... I don't remember where I got that, but it's cute. It says, mark my words. Some Polaroid pictures. Whoops, sorry. That came from scrapbook paper. This was printed, or, yeah, cut from the internet. Or, I mean, sorry. Cut with my Cricut with the Pretty Penance cartridge. And I used it as a pocket. Put a tag in there. And this one was a sticker border from K and Company. It says create and dream. Here's the part I cut off. It says craft. And this is Stampin' Up! paper that has buttons on it. And then a library pocket. This was actually the library pocket that was on this book. But it, the title of it had something to do with death. So I covered it with this pretty paper and put a couple of tags. This one was made with a rubber stamp and some craft cardstock. And that's a library card. So, there's that book. So I made eight books in two weeks with leftover papers. And now, I, st I barely made a dent in my stash. But I'm going to get to work on some projects that I want to do. And then I'll maybe make a couple more trying to use up stash. I'm hoping to do a recipe book next because I've talked about recipe books and some people have expressed interest in seeing them and I can't show them because I've sold them all but I am making one for myself so I'm going to work on finishing that and then maybe that will be my next video and I hope you enjoyed seeing these leave a comment and I will be back soon bye